Okay. You about ready for a take, Uncle? Yeah. Nearly finished your smoke? Yeah. Yo. Well, I watched, when I was a very little girl on television, sneaking behind my parents' seat, I watched this film called Walkabout. And then David Goggle was a young 15-year-old boy in that film. And, um, and it's an adventure through the desert. And he meets, befriends these two kids and, you know. And for me, David Goggle has always been one of my heroes in terms of acting you know, in film. So, of course, he was always like, it was almost like, you know, can I get Robert De Niro? It's like that. Can I get David Goldblum? You know, he is, he's a legend. He's great. And so for me, to get him into the film and to actually have that ability um, was amazing. Well, it's about me. Uh, it's about me. Uh, I love my country of Australia. Uh, whichever left and right, center and straight and bottom. I love my country. I live there. And that is me. And uh, I make movie. And I walk in the land of my ground and my soil. You know, like the movie I, I might uh, walk about, I would walk in the soil. I would walk that one and, yeah, that's a good movie, walk about. Is that where we started, Jess? Yep. Um, yeah, David had, um, he had a very sore, he had very sore feet when we were filming and it was very difficult for him to actually wait there. He could not really stand up and walk easily. He was in a lot of pain. And it was, at times it was a problem. I mean, sometimes he could sit and do that, but sometimes he had to walk. And, um, oh, it just hurt my heart having to ask him to do it. But he would get up and he was in so much pain, then he'd just go and he'd just do it. And it was like, sometimes he wouldn't hit his mark, sometimes he wouldn't, I don't know, like he takes the information you give him in and he does something better. I mean, he just, either he does a, he pushes his spirit out of the camera in a way that is a magic. He speaks, I don't know how many, he probably speaks about six languages and English is probably the, like the last one that he speaks and I talk to him in English and I would tell him what the character wants and what the story was and where it was going and where he started and where he finished and he'd think about it. Because he was speaking in language, you know, he, it was, and then he would um, just jam. Yeah. <laughs>